Hi dear students, this is Vetri. Today we are going to see about implementation of Q using Array. Already we have discussed what are the two different types of implementation we have. First one is static implementation using Array and second one is dynamic implementation using linked list. Today we are going to see about implementation of Q using Array. Okay, so let me explain with the coding. Just follow. So first I am going to start from the header hash include after header I am going to define the size of my array okay so here what is the size of my array it's 5 okay so I am going to define size 5 okay and now I am going to declare my array uh, in, uh, in global manner okay so in teacher my array name is Q so I am going to consider this array as my Q okay size will be here already I have mentioned okay and what are the two pointers we have first one is front pointer and the second one is rear pointer okay so the what are the value front is equal to minus one and rear is equal to minus one right now i'm going to start uh, first we are going to start uh, inserting uh, element so let me explain uh, with the void main function in main function so what are the operation I'm going to perform is in Q in Q3 and DQ and display. So here I'm going to perform two insert operation and one deletion operation and I'm going to display all the elements from the queue okay first void in queue so from the function we can see see here for example in queue of 3 3 means I am going to pass one parameter in this function so 3 is an integer and I have declared the Q as an integer so integer x okay and to do that see first I have to check uh, for insertion already we have discussed what is the limitation we have to check whether the Q is overflow or not so for that condition how I have to check see uh, if the Q is overflow means what is the condition My rear pointer will be equal to the position 4. Rear is pointing to 4 now. If the data is full means my rear pointer will point to this location. So 4 which is nothing but size minus 1. Okay. So if rear is equal to equal to size minus 1 printf Q is full or Q overflow. Okay. Then, so I will write it here because of space issue, or else I will write start from here. Okay. So, next condition is I have to check whether list is empty or not. Okay. Or else, this whether list have one data. Sometimes, uh, if we have only one data in Q, means both pointer will point to the same location. Right. Uh, in introduction, we have discussed about that. See, okay. Now, after checking the first condition, next I am going to check whether the queue is empty or not. Okay, so if the queue is empty, means see, else if front 
equal to equal to minus 1 and rear equal to equal to minus 1. If the Q is empty, then what will be the uh, positions of uh, front and rear pointer? That will be, uh, it will point to the same position, right? Uh, I am going to insert the data at here and I'm both rear and front point will point to the same position at is this 0, okay? So, for that, I am going to write front equal to rear is equal to 0 and then what is the name of the Q? Q and rear is equal to X. So, X which is nothing but the data which I am pausing in this function, okay? Now, what about the last condition? The Q is not overflowed and the Q also not empty. So, for that condition, what we have to do? Like, uh, I have one data already in this Q and uh, R is here. When I am trying to insert the next data in this into this Q means, so what will happen? See, first we have to increment the rear pointer. So, we all know that insertion is going to happen at rear end if by using rear pointer. Okay. So, first I am going to increment rear pointer and then Q rear is equal to X. So, just try to understand the difference between these two uh, statements. Okay. So, if the list is sorry, Q is empty. I am going to uh, keep the data, incoming data in first position, okay? Else, if Q is not empty, if Q have some data means, so simply I have to increment only one step uh, ahead of uh, rear pointer, okay? So simply I, I have to add one step, okay? So I have to in increment the rear pointer one step towards right side, okay? So that's the logic just try to understand and then so that's all about uh, insertion operation okay so first i am checking whether the queue is full or not and then checking uh, whether the queue is empty or not and then uh, if both satisfies then i'm going for if it both not satisfies then uh, i'm going for an operation okay insertion operation that's it and here now. we go the next operation is deletion dq operation okay so, if by using this operation, I am going to delete an element from the queue, okay? So, here we have three situations. The first one is, let me explain one by one. If the queue is empty, the queue is underflow. So, for that condition, how can we write the condition C? If the queue is empty, front and rear pointer points to minus 1, right? Okay. So, if front is equal to equal to minus 1 and rear is equal to equal to minus 1. So, in this condition, we can't delete uh, any data from the queue because queue doesn't have any data, okay? So, in printf, write queue is empty, okay? Now, what about the second situation? So, in queue, I, if I have only one data means the pointers will point to the same location, right? Front and rear. Front and rear pointer points to the same location if I have only one data. If I am having only one data means how can I uh, write the condition? Front is equal to, rear is equal to. So, I can't write the position uh, address, right? So, simply I can write it as front is equal to rear. Okay, the next condition is else if front is equal to equal to rear. Both pointers point to the same position means the both value will be same, right? For that case, if I have only one data, I am going to delete this data, then what will happen? If this will become empty after deleting this one data, this will become empty. Then what about the pointer's uh, position? Front points to minus 1 and rear points to minus 1. Which means list is empty. Sorry, Q is empty. Okay. So that's the thing I'm going to write. For this condition, I'm going to make 
फ्रंट इक्वल टू रियर इक्वल टू माइनस वन ओके एंड देन वॉट अबाउट द नेक्स्ट केस द यूशल केस सो इफ यू हैव सम डेटा इन दिस क्यू मीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम हैविंग एक्स थ्री डेटा ओके फ्रंट पॉइंट्स टू द फर्स्ट वन एंड रियर पॉइंट्स टू द लास्ट वन सो वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म डिलीशन ऑपरेशन एट फ्रंट पोजिशन राइट सी ही आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीट दिस डेटा देन आफ्टर दैट वॉट विल हैपन आई हैव टू इंक्रीमेंट द फ्रंट पॉइंटर इन टू द नेक्स्ट पोजिशन राइट द नेक्स्ट डेटा सो सिंपल ऑपरेशन विच इज आई हैव टू मूव दिस फ्रंट पॉइंटर टू द दिस वन आफ्टर डिलीटिंग दिस I have to move this, right? So then, what will happen? The operation is front plus plus, right? Simple. See, for the last case, else. For first, I have to write front plus plus. Okay, I'm just incrementing the front pointer into the next position, right? do i need to write anything uh, for uh, deleting the things right so if it is required you can use it in front of front uh, printing incrementing the front position okay so first i can write print f the element is going to be deleted is percentage d so in that what i have to write q and the position is front q is the q name and then position is front so after that i can go for deletion i can increment the pointer front plus plus right so here we got three uh, situations so if the list is empty means you will get the output as q is empty sorry if the q is empty means you will get the output as q is empty or else if the q have only one data so then the operation will be after delete, deleting the data from the q so what will happen then q will become empty and the final usual case is if you have some data means simply i am going to increment one step ahead of a front pointer okay that's it that's the whole process of deletion okay the next operation is uh, displaying all the elements from the queue so for that i am going to check whether uh, if the queue is empty or not if the queue is empty means i can't display any data from the queue right and then what about the next case uh, if the queue is not empty i have to display all the element from front to rear okay so let me explain with the code for that so i am going to introduce one um, variable for applying in uh, for loop so see first i'm going to check if front is equal to equal to minus 1 and rear equal to equal to minus 1 so in this case what about the result print f q is empty okay and the other case the q is not empty means i have to print all the element from the queue so let's consider this queue see it has the data 2 3 1 5 8 the array index starts from 0 to 4 the size of this array is 5 okay so here i know that at the zeroth position uh, the data is 2 so meanwhile i have written all the data with the address okay see first i'm going to use uh, I'm, i'm going to apply for loop for that for i is equal to where i have to start zero right so i have to start from front front and what about the condition up to where i can go up to rear what is the value of rear 4 so size minus size minus 1 right so i less than size minus 1 okay and i plus plus so that's the case and i can go for print print f the elements are 
percentage d so in that what i have to write so q i okay so for that after applying this c first it will check for printing this uh, elements so it will start from print uh, pointer first it will print 2 and then 3 and then 1 5 8 when it will get stop so the condition is i less than size minus 1 if i meets 4 if i meets 4 then it will stop the process okay so that's all for about uh, display in operation okay so today we have discussed about um, what are the three operation we have and uh, i forgot to explain the thing uh, in when uh, when i start uh, writing the program i have introduced the main function void main so in that i have explained you uh, what are the operations we are going to perform in queue so as per this data i am writing here so just uh, you can continue like this and then for performing deletion dq so no need to pass parameter for deletion operation and the display of okay so these are the operations why i am i am returning um nq operation two time means so just to understand how how many data we are going to insert because the insertion is going to uh, get in get processed by one by one okay the time complexity of uh, Uh, insert operation deletion operation is 1 okay c so in this video uh, we have seen about what are the three operations we have uh, in queue and uh, the operations are insertion nq and deletion dq and displaying all the elements by using display function okay so i hope you understood the logic very well if you have any comments or any doubts you can uh, comment in comment section and if you are not subscribed yet Uh, subscribe now and uh, keep supporting thanks for watching thank you students